Situated 100 kilometers from Durban in KwaZulu-Natal, majestically overlooking the Indian Ocean, you will find this monumental convent, sadly void and hidden amongst the brush like a lost treasure. St. Elmo's was erected in stages from 1918 until 1939 as a Catholic convent which was used as a retreat for nuns of the Third Order of St. Dominic's, as well as a remedial school for children with learning disabilities. The convent was forced to close down in 1994 due to a cut of government subsidies to institutions of this nature. If you now visit the status quo rather spooky looking building, you will find it in a dilapidated state in most places. Almost every window is broken and most of the Oregon pine flooring has been lifted and the building itself was stripped. And ironically someone wrote on a dusty window the words, God restore this place. As with most uninhabited desolate buildings, it also comes with its own hauntings, which may be the reason why locals are cautious to enter the building alone. Allegedly, the place is possessed by a spirit of a former priest and nun who refused to leave the location. When you do enter at night, you will be confronted with unexplained footsteps, unseen objects falling and heavy breathing. A couple of friends dared to venture into the convent a few years ago. They stood before a closed door, and when they entered the room it suddenly turned very cold. As every hair on the back of their necks stood up, they immediately left. It is also believed that a spirit of a child still haunts the ground. They had tried to sell the place before, at an auction. However, to this day, it still stands unoccupied. They say that the selling price is too high. Although property developers believe that the building has loads of potential to be turned into a hotel, boarding school, or healthcare facility. But it's also rumored that people are too scared to buy it. What do you think is the reason why this place is still unoccupied and being left to decay? Drop a comment below and don't forget to like this video.